Well, if you pass on hotels and book houses or condos for your vacations using sites like uh, Verbo or Airbnb, you're in good company. But there are some secrets to saving money on those booking sites. Simply Money's Amy Wagner joins us with that. Good morning. Good morning. Have you ever tried one of these sites? Have you ever uh, seen one of these places? Yes. Yeah, for sure. It's very popular. I think a lot of people are starting to realize um, that you get more flexibility. Oftentimes, prices are lower than with a hotel, and especially if you're traveling with a family and you want maybe different bedrooms or a kitchen. Yeah. Uh, there seem to be a lot of great options. What people don't know, though, a lot of times with these sites is that a lot of these owners have their property listed on different sites. So huh. the same property could be listed on three or four different sites at different it's prices. Nice. Yes, absolutely. Huh. So if you get your heart set on one of those properties, don't just check Airbnb or VRBO or yeah. whichever one it is, check them all. And Orbitz and Booking.com have also started booking uh, rentals like this. The Ooh. difference is the commission rates on those sites seem to be a little bit higher. So even if for some reason you are more familiar with the site or there's a reason why you want to use a particular site, if you see it somewhere else, don't be afraid to say, hey, this is a different price on this site. Is there a reason? Can I get a better rate than this? So you can negotiate. You can absolutely negotiate. And okay. there are certain factors that help with the negotiation. One of them being if you're traveling in an off season. Uh, certainly, mm -hmm. if you're going to Chicago, uh, you know, summer. for St. Patrick's yeah, Day <laughs> and just staying for the weekends, no negotiations there. Mm -hmm. But if you're staying for a longer amount of time in, a, in an off season, a lot of times you can say, hey, is there any chance I can get a slightly better rate on this? Huh, that yeah. is a good tip there. Okay, so, so some of these sites, they have uh, things now for frequent flyers? Yes, because of course, how can they come? couple these things where, you know, if you go to Orbitz or Travelocity, right. you're booking a hotel room and you're booking your flight at the same time. So uh, Airbnb and Delta have partnered. So for every dollar that you spend at an huh. Airbnb, you get a Sky Mile. And the first time you sign up, you get a thousand bonus miles. Uh, same thing with HomeAway and United. So they're starting to partner, they're realizing, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So if you're big into those miles and those rewards programs, absolutely take advantage of something like that. I love that. Okay, so here's the thing. Whenever the these amazing deals or different options come about, sometimes scams come out too. Almost we, always they right? come out. Yeah, so absolutely. What do we look out for? So if you're negotiating with a person or you know communicating with a person about one of these places and they want to get off the site, that's always a red flag that something is going on there. And the best thing that you can do in these situations is always pay with a credit card. Your fraud prote protection is so much greater with a mm -hmm. credit card than even with a debit card. So stay on the site, follow the rules, make sure that you understand how this works and if you put it on a credit card and something does go wrong then your credit card company will go to bat for you all right give us our tip of the week really quickly tip of the week all right new iPhones right announced yep. next week so if you want to sell the old iPhone to make way for the new one now is the time to do it typically we see that as soon as Apple announces a new model the price that you can get for the old one drops by about a right. hundred bucks so this is the time to do it if you're gonna upgrade or thinking about selling your current phone